Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different and I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna create something using my Cricut Maker 3. My sister tasked me with making the card drop for her wedding that's coming up in a couple of weeks. So I went to Michael's and I got this card drop and I also got some smart vinyl and we're gonna create a card drop. So this morning I actually did everything. I went on Procreate on my iPad and I drew out a design and that design is available on Etsy for just a dollar if you want it to. Also today I learned the hard way that if you wanna use a Michaels coupon, you have to buy online. I went in store and they told me that I couldn't use the code. So it would have saved me like seven bucks if I had just done a pickup order instead of walking around the store and finding it. So that was a bummer, but we're here, we have the card drop. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm a little bit worried that this card drop isn't big enough. So there were card drop options that had a lock on them, but I don't wanna lock people out of it. I doubt anybody's gonna try to steal the cards who's coming to the wedding. I just don't know if this hole here is big enough for a card. So I wanted to get one that opened all the way in case somebody brought like a small gift or a thicker card or something that wasn't going to fit. So now that this is ready to go, this is what it looks like. So like I said, I drew a design this morning on Procreate and I decided to create an Etsy shop to put it up there if anyone wants it. I made it super cheap, it's only a dollar. So using that wreath that's up on Etsy, I just went into design space, found a font that I wanted for the Hackworths, and then I put their wedding date, which is gonna be one, two, one, two, three. So now I'm gonna go into design space and I'm gonna print it. So here is the wreath that I created, and then like I said, I just went ahead and I found the Hackworths. I attached all of this together so now I can move it around freely. And I'm just gonna measure the card drop to see how big it is, but I think it's about 10 inches. I just measured it and it was actually a nine by nine box. So up and down, if I go all the way to nine inches, it's not gonna reach nine inches over here. I'm just gonna leave it here and then I'm gonna print it and see how it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. without that because I got the Smart Vinyl over at Michael's today. And this is the cut that I'm gonna do. Now let's go turn on the Cricut Maker. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it is turned on. And now we can go make the cut. And don't forget to add your vinyl. So I just added the Smart Vinyl. I love the Smart Vinyl because I don't need a mat, so I can just put it in, and now it's ready to go. Hey everybody, it's Future Ally here and I'm editing this video. So I wanted to hop on to explain everything that I'm doing. So I just cut out my design with some scissors and now I'm weeding it out. This is actually the most satisfying part of the whole process in my opinion, because it is so like relaxing and mindless and therapeutic to just weed out all of the extra vinyl. And at this point, Nate also came home. So we were just talking while I was weeding out the entire design, which actually took kind of a long time because of all of the leaves. I had to weed out every individual leaf and every leaf actually had two parts that I had to weed out. So it kind of took a while, but it was super relaxing and I love 
the part where I get to weed. So then I put some transfer tape on so that I could get my design off of the original vinyl paper and onto the card drop. Now with this, I actually have the super sticky Cricut brand transfer tape and I hate it. It was so hard to rip off here. I had to rip it off in parts and it started pulling up parts of the vinyl. So in the future, I would not use these super, super sticky transfer tape, but this is how it ended up turning out. And I think it is so beautiful and so cute and simple and the ring light was getting in the way, but that's how it turned out. everybody that's it for this Cricut craft so if you would like your own card drop box I have an Etsy shop where you can actually buy your own or you can just buy the decal to create your own however you want to do it thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and I will leave the Etsy links down below in the description and I will see you all on my next video bye guys